Hey guys, John Rettinger from Techno and Buffalo here. During my review of the Nexus One, I gave it very high marks and really praised it as being one of the best overall smartphones available. However, I did take a little bit of umbrage with the lack of native multi-touch support in the browser. Multi-touch is quite important to me. I'm an iPhone user and I've become quite accustomed to it. I felt that if the Nexus One or Android as a whole had multi-touch capabilities that were utilized, meaning pinch and zoom, would probably be close to the perfect device. Well, the native browser found on the Droid or the Nexus One does not support multi-touch right out of the box. However, enter the Android Marketplace and the Dolphin browser, which you can see right there. It is a free browser that supports multi-touch and does just support multi-touch a little bit. It supports multi-touch very well. So enough of me talking about it. Let me give you a demonstration. So here I've got Techno Buffalo loaded up and do the main motion that I do quite a bit, the pinch and the zoom. And it is extremely fluid and works really well. There's no lag or delay and that may be due to the browser being optimized or the incredibly fast processor, the Nexus One, but it works very well. It renders pages as well, if not as fast as the native browser in Android. I mean, it just works very quickly. There's no ghosting at the bottom, none of that checkerboard pattern, it just works and the multi-touch, very quick, and as you can see, works quite well. And of course you've got your zoom. Now the Dolphin browser actually has a few tricks up its sleeve, more than just a really effective implementation of multi-touch. First thing that you may notice here are tabs. See I've got Techno Buffalo right there, then I've got YouTube, and you can manage your tabs all the way across, and an X shows up when you want to close it, so I'll go ahead and close the YouTube tab. Now I'm right back here on Techno Buffalo and you can browse just like you would uh, normally. But there are a few uh, downsides. The first is, even though this is a free browser, you may see a few Google ads that show up at the bottom. You don't see them very often, but they definitely do show up. So let me take you through some of the other features of the device. Go ahead and hit the plus sign right there. Now you get sort of the menu system um, that the Dolphin browser uses. So here's your most visited, and you can star the sites if you want. In the upper right hand corner, you notice that very familiar looking microphone. That will activate your voice search like you can um, in any other text entry field. So you can say www.technobuffalo.com, it'll take you there, or Google search, whatever you'd like. Moving right down here, you've got your stars. So you've got your, your bookmarks. You've got a ton of Google services here. So you've got search, Gmail, Maps, Talk, and this will just take you to the web portal for all of these iGoogle, Photos, Calendar, Reader, Earth, Docs, and there's a ton of other things. They're just really nice shortcuts. Nothing that you couldn't just type your own URL into, but it's nice to sort of have them uh, all laid out here for you. Next, you've got a Read It Later. If you want to set a web page to read later, you've got Delicious. If you want to send something right to it, we'll go back, cancel. And then you've just got about the Dolphin browser, give feedback, share with friends, and a few other things. Now this supports some gestures, but nothing that I found terribly useful. The real big selling point here is multi-touch, and I gotta say it works very well. Um, this may make Android, the next one in particular, probably the perfect phone out there. Uh, I'm really impressed the speed of the device. For a third-party browser, it's one of the best out there, and I can't praise it enough. Supposedly this only works with Android 2.0 or higher devices, although reports are saying that if you've got a 1.5, 1.6 device, that the Dolphin browser will still work for you. So for those of you maybe on non-firmware updated G1s or My Touches, definitely go ahead and give this a shot. It's a free download from the Android Marketplace. You've got nothing to lose. And if you see an ad or two, just uh, be thankful that you're getting multi-touch, I suppose. Um, anyway, just wanted to let you guys know that this was out there because I really had no idea. It was brought to my attention after my Nexus One review. Uh, so if I had to revise my Nexus One review, I would probably have to give this a, a perfect five stars. Um, the phone is now fast. It's got every feature I could have asked for. Google, HTC, and Android really have come to their own. The Dolphin browser takes it to the next level. So go ahead and get downloaded. Um, I will see you guys in the next video, and the Shorty Awards are still going on. I mentioned this a few videos back. Um, it's a video contest for um, short video producers. If you like what I do and you know you uh, have the time, I really appreciate uh, your vote in the tech category. I'll put a link to it in the sidebar. Hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you in the next video.